What's going on everyone, welcome to my review of Ross Barkley, the 82 rated inform player who got an upgrade after he scored and assisted in his recent game against Southampton. Jumping straight into the stats, let's compare him to his original card. He received an extra 3 or 4 points almost across the board. His main strengths being his shot power, passing and dribbling, sitting around the mid 80s. His strength is also pretty decent at 80, uh, so I was really looking forward to using him in that central midfield position. And I am getting better at the time finishing, so I was hoping to get a few long shots uh, driven into the back of the net. In terms of time finishing, mm, not so much guys. I don't know what I'm trying to pull it off. I'm practicing a lot, but it just doesn't feel right, and I can't get my fingers onto the L1 and R1 fast enough to pull it off. I mean, with enough practice doing the time finishing, it's becoming quite fluid, I don't really need to think about it. Um, but driven finishes are a whole nother story. Anyway, I digress. Uh, back to Ross Barkley. I played him into a 4-3-3 formation. He was sitting in the midfield, obviously, but if I felt things weren't quite ticking against the opposition, I switched it over to a 4-2-2 with Barkley sitting in the deeper midfield position. I thought, you know, he's quite a creative player. He's got the four-star skills, five-star weak foot. I thought it'd be a good hybrid to be able to, you know, offer d the defensive side of things, but also have the ability to start counter-attacks and get things going. So let's talk about the gameplay. I used him in five games and measured him based on the chances created, assists, and goals scored. I quickly realized he was much better for me in that CDM role in the 4-2-2 formation, mainly because despite his good dribbling, four-star skills, and accurate passing, he seriously lacked acceleration and agility going forward, and that really didn't create a good threat going forward. He did however excel in his defensive work and ability to start counterattacks with his strength, height, you know, winning balls in the air, and his close control. Overall, I think he's a massive improvement from his original card and I feel like he can slide into that CDM role very well. Is he worth 20,000 coins though? Yeah, yeah I think he is. But uh, let me know what you think from these highlights and maybe if you've given them a go yourself, you might have a different opinion. Anyway. I'll step away from the mic now and let you enjoy the gameplay. Thank you so much for watching and showing your support on my last video. If you like this one, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing if you're into this kind of thing. And I'll see you all soon with another video. See you later.